Farmers in the UK are facing a second year of severe harvest shortages. Before Brexit, many people, especially from Eastern Europe, came to help with the harvest. It's a struggle to find enough people, said Daniel Papuccia, who immigrated to Britain from Slovakia 13 years ago. We have a lot of vacancies, also in the offices, and I need two more members for my team at the moment. It's very difficult, he says. Flowers are planted in the Lincolnshire lowlands, but they are not picked. The flower fields used to swarm with people in the past. Millions of daffodils grow here, but the flower farm, one of the largest in the country, has made an economic choice. It's not financially worth hiring people from other European countries. This year, millions of flowers are expected to wither in the fields. Before Brexit, picking was in firm Eastern European hands. Hardly anyone wants to do the heavy work now. 75% of the flowers grown remain unpicked. The flower farm has decided to only sell the daffodils for the UK this year and no longer pick for export. And farmer Adam Taylor says it means that people driving by the fields can see the fields in bloom. Well, that's at least something. The labor shortage does not only affect flowers. A lot of vegetables will also remain lying around this year because nobody is harvesting them. Last year, 750,000 eggplants rotted on this vegetable farm. The government wants to attract British workers with higher minimum wages, but so far without success. And farmer Julian Marks says, In the long term, we will simply have to give up certain crops. It will no longer be feasible to grow some vegetables here, for example. This will then have to be imported and then they will no longer have the British flag on the packaging. British agriculture produces less. Vegetables molds on, on, the, on the ground and daffodils bloom in the fields, but not in the vase. In the UK, the cleaning sector is also among a long list of industries where staff is becoming increasingly difficult to find. When the UK left the EU just before the pandemic, it also closed its doors to low-skilled immigrants. Now that life is getting back to normal, their absence is being felt more than ever. Since Brexit, the UK has said it only wants to take on highly skilled workers and has encouraged employers to fill low-skilled vacancies with people already living in the UK. The companies say visas should be issued to people with the skills the country needs. The UK government insists its new immigration system is not to blame for the dilemma and yet a temporary relaxation of rules is part of the solution. And business officials don't think short-term visas will attract the people who are needed. And I say they are absolutely right about this. And so much about self-decision, sovereignty, and you know what I mean. I'll see you in my next video. Bis gleich.